in my life and I know that I'm incredibly blessed but sometimes it, I try to handle so many things for my family I really am balancing a lot and I try to get everything done that I need to get done and you know keep on top of the housework and everything but I also have three kids that and two dogs one being a puppy that Piper especially chews on everything and you can pick up everything off the floor and in five seconds she has it shredded with crap I mean she'll get stuff off the counter it's just it's a phase right now and it's incredibly frustrating when I feel like I'm constantly moving and constantly trying to do things and constantly trying to keep up. And then the things that don't get done or I don't get kept up with are pointed out to me. And it's just disheartening and frustrating and makes me feel like I'm not good enough. And I am typically a very carefree, pretty self-confident woman. I think most of you know that, but I was swiping away a text. <laughs> I'm on my phone today. Um, but sometimes it just piles up you know, one thing will happen and then it'll just, it just keeps coming and coming and coming until, you know, I'm human and I get upset about things that I, I don't know, that, you know, most of the time wouldn't affect me, but then when it's all at once, it does. You know, I was at soccer Saturday and I was putting Finley in the car and my mother-in-law was right there and she said when I was a young mom uh, there was never anything in my floorboards like there was never any crumbs there was never anything there and I, was, I just turned around and looked at her and I was like 
Okay. You know, and it's just like, that'll happen. And then Chris is her son. So he sometimes will point out things that I feel like in the long grand scheme of things aren't that important, but I don't know. It just makes me feel, Chris is amazing. You guys know that. He is human like I am and we all are stupid sometimes and things we say to other people um, but it just makes me feel like I'm not good enough. And I'm in one of those moods today because yesterday was a little, a little rough. So I just feel like, am I doing something wrong as a mother and a housewife? I don't know. But then, you know, my kids the other day, Bryson just randomly was like, mom, will you take me to see Black Adam? And it was just so like, he wants to hang out with me. He's 11. He wants me to take him to see a movie. He wants to spend time with me. And Finley and Kylie, every time I walk in a room, they light up and run over to hug me. And I don't know. I am doing something right. I am. So, because I'm in this weird mood, I need to do something. Which is what I do. When I get in a weird mood like this, I do something crazy. So, I'm going to cut all my hair off. That's what I'm going to do. I need something to, like, get the aggression out. Does that make sense? Like, I think, you know, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like something to just like get it done. So that's what I'm going to do today. Make myself feel better and to like get my aggression out. I'm going to cut my hair and I'm not even going to tell Chris that I'm doing it because that's even more of like a, ha. Huh. I did it the other day too when I went and bought a rug for the living room, which you guys are going to see today, because that we're, that's what we're going to do today is redo the living room and like home make in the living room. We're going to refresh it. But I went and bought this rug and I didn't even tell him. I was like, huh, I bought a rug. It's my little way of like snapping back, you know, sometimes I just, I get, I just get so upset and so like feeling down on myself that I just have to snap. I'm going to go for a workout now because I just dropped Finley off at preschool. I'm going to go around town and walk, run, and then I'm going to get my hair cut. So, huh. So I did not go get my hair cut. <laughs> I ended up walking around our town for like two hours and then it was time to go get Finley. Um, and then... Mommy just needs school. Mommy picked you up from school? Yeah. And then I ended up meeting a friend for lunch and now we're back home. So we're going to work on the living room. I have a lot of plans for this space. Um, yeah, this. And I'm going to show you all. For some reason, there's a cup on the couch. I'm going to show you all what I mean. So I think we're going to start with the rug because I think that's going to be like the centerpiece to it all. So we'll go ahead and, you know, vacuum, mop, whatever, get the rug down and I can show it to you guys. And then what's Maxie doing back there? And then um, we can get to all the other stuff. I tried to keep this very affordable and very budget friendly. So Let's get going. Mommy. Yeah, those are pillows. Oh. oh. Brand new street and brand new me. Side by side, my friends I need. Don't you tell me that you're in town. I already know. Couple days ago. Hey, now that our names are written in stone. Let's be honest, sounds like home. I got the rug down and I love it um, so much. I love it so much. It's exactly what I envisioned when I was doing it. It is a little curled up in a few spots, like right here, which I'm assuming has some trash. It'll just take a few minutes to like get laid perfectly out. I'm going to vacuum it here in a minute. But the next step is to work on these couch cushions. So let me show you. So there are some spots. Look at that. That the dog's um, like paws have just caught it. I don't think this was the highest of qualities of couch when we bought it, but I bought some stuff that is hopefully going to help. So these are some new cushions that I bought, and I don't know if you can tell, but the color actually matches 
pretty closely. So I bought five new couch cushions and then a double size one for this. So we're gonna put those on next. And then the next thing we're gonna do is take these pillowcases. We'll order these ones and then these sort of blue ones. And I'm going to use old pillows to stuff those because I wanted to keep it budget friendly. And we have a ton of old pillows that we're not using. So me and Finley are gonna do that and we're gonna put the couch cushions on. And then we have a little bit more to do. I'm really excited about where this is heading so far though. So you ready to get started? You ready to help mommy? Yeah. Yeah. And we also need to pick up that trash from the rug. Okay. I'm out of reasons. I'm out of rhyme. But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs. I'm tired of this. And I want to tell you straight just like it is. You're watching me. You're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless So here's what we have going on so far The color is definitely a little off on um, the covers But honestly, I kind of like it And for one, and for two, I can wash them. I can take them off and wash them. And there's no more holes in my couches. So I will take it. I really honestly don't mind the little That's color it. variation. I almost think it makes it look back up here. I don't know, a little bit, a little bit cooler. But then these are the pillows that we made. So we have these blue ruffly ones and then those ones as well. I wanted to tie that in with the sign. And we have a couple more things just to hang right there. All right, so back in the summer, I picked these plates up at Goodwill. It's like a little farmhouse guy, and then there's a man and his wife and some logs and a tree. I picked the big one up and this little one that's like a gas fireplace. So I like the brass look of them, but we're actually going to spray paint them this color Matte River Rock and then um, use a nail file to distress it a little bit so that a little bit of the brass shows through to make it a little bit more farmhousey. And then I also picked up this little monkey guy reading a book. And then this is a plant that I'm going to spray paint all of it in the same color. So Kylie and I are gonna go ahead and do that. The first step we're gonna do is to put this that. base or this, that. you wanna spray that? Yeah. To put this on as a base and then we will get to spray painting. This is a way that we are definitely keeping this little makeover more budget friendly. The thing that I spent the most money on for sure was the rug and then everything else I got like super cheap like this. Sometimes we act like a fool Not aware we're troublemakers Sometimes we try to be cool Not being givers, only takers Stop for a minute Stop and breathe for a minute Don't get over your head, try to listen instead won't you? Okay, so it's actually been several hours Chris is actually helping me I started some chicken for dinner and Chris is over there flipping it you got the monkey? But this is what, so we're gonna put this in replacement of the mirror. This is that, um, the thing that you just saw me spray paint in the previous footage, but this is the thing that we got at the Goodwill a little while back and we painted it and then I distressed it a little bit so you could see some of the, um, the bronze shine through and it's just this little farmer guy. So I'm gonna hang this where the mirror is and then I have a couple other things to go around that spot as well. And you guys will see this mirror again because I'm actually going to be using it in a makeover. I can get this on this nail. This makeover, a makeover coming up in Kylie's art room. This piece I actually um, got at the Goodwill as well. I think I paid, yeah, I still got the tag on it. I paid $4 for this one. It's a pretty good deal. So it says, in this house, 
We love to the cows come home. Don't get our feathers in a ruffle. Say our prayers. Do our chores. Enjoy the fresh outdoors. In this house, life is better in the country. And this was originally from Hobby Lobby. So. Mom, and then we're... I'm going to move this humidifier into our room and the pumpkin somewhere else as well. And then I got this little tree at the Goodwill as well. Put your monkey right here. Yeah. All right, and this is sort of the the final overview. We really are liking this rug. I do need to get some um, like rug tape stuff for it underneath it. Max is loving the couch, and then the pieces that we added on the wall, and the new pieces that we added over there. I'm really happy with this so far and I feel like it ties in with the um, kitchen makeover that we just did. So I feel like it's all coming together. Dinner time. I'm literally the worst at updating after dinner pretty much, but the kids are in bed. Chris is looking at the new Unsolved Mysteries. Are we watching it? Death in Vegas Motel, that's it. What happened to Josh? Oh, there's a couple new ones. They released like three new ones today or yesterday, so I think we're gonna watch it on Salt Mysteries and then head to bed. But thank you guys for joining me today. Thank you for listening to me rant this morning. And yeah, I'll see you guys on Sunday for another Sunday reset. Have a great night, guys. Bye. You could gain from